Hey everyone, this is an After Effects tutorial showing you how to create some 2D animated lasers and blasts that you see here. Now, I'm not actually going to be showing you how to create them as much as I am going to be showing you how to use them. So these are drag and drop assets that are available for free and there's a link in the description. And there are some additional assets available to Patreon supporters. So I'm going to show you how to really quickly use them in a way that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to show you some more advanced techniques to make them look even better. So I've got a composition here with a picture of a stormtrooper. It could be a video, but I've kept it as just a picture. And I've imported a couple of the assets here on the left. So I'm going to grab this one, Side Blast 4, drag and drop. And then I'm going to move the video over to a point where I can see the blast, so something like that. And I'm just going to expand this layer and start transforming it. So I'm going to scale it up a bit, rotate it. So just scale it and rotate it to your taste. And I'm going to move it to where I want it to be. So somewhere right there. Move back a little bit to make sure that it's where I want it to be. And Bam, like I said, drag and drop. So that already looks pretty good. And if this was a video, you could just keyframe the position of the asset, but because this is a still image, that's basically all the work we have to do. Now, if you wanna make this look a little bit better, you can go ahead and right click, go to blending mode screen. So that gives it a little bit more of a quote unquote realistic or natural look that I think looks really good, but it depends on the look you're going for. So that is the simplest way to work with these. You can literally just drag it and drop it. Now for something a little more advanced, I'm going to use this asset, which is one of the additional ones available to Patreon supporters. And I am going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to press S to scale it up. I'm going to move it over here where I want it to be. And then I am going to uh, add a glow to it. So you'll notice that this one is just pure white. And the reason I did that was because I wanted these assets to have a little bit more flexibility in terms of how the glow looked. So you can go to Effect, Stylize, Glow. And now you can decide for yourself things like the glow radius, the glow intensity, etc. So I'm going to change this to have a little bit of a purple look, purplish, pinkish look. Uh, maybe increase the glow intensity, increase the radius so that it looks something like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change the blending mode to screen again. And then because this guy's got a cannon on both of his arms, I'm just going to duplicate this layer by pressing Control D. I'm gonna offset them a little bit just so that they are not doing the exact same thing at the exact same time. So something like that. And yeah, that looks pretty good to me. So having these uncolored assets that you can get through Patreon, it gives you a little bit more flexibility. Now for this next part, you need Video Copilot's optical flares. And here's what I like to do to make it look even better. I'm gonna select both layers, go to layer, pre-compose, I'll call it something like laser assets and move all attributes into the new composition. And from there, what you can do is create a new layer with optical flares on it. So I'll just call this flares and go to Effect, Video Copilot, Optical Flares. Now the first thing you wanna go do is change the blending mode to screen. And then you wanna go here to the uh, source type and change it from 2D to luminance. And for the source layer, you wanna select your assets. So we pre-composed it into this composition called Layer Assets or Laser Assets. So click that and it's probably gonna be like this, really bright. What you want to do is change the brightness down to something like five, maybe even change the scale down to something like 50. Uh, and then I'm going to bring the brightness back up again to make it clear what's happening. Maybe something like 20, just play around with it. It depends on how big the blasts are. But as you can see, as we scroll through, it's adding a flare to these blasts in a very dynamic way. So I'm going to go over to a part where we get that nice circular outline. So something like something like this. And I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see what's happening. Uh, so you can see that this is not just one single flare. The point of luminance is that it dynamically adds flares to things that are bright based on their luminance. And you can see it's actually adding a flare over here even to these small specks I have off to the side. And so this is really cool. This is a really powerful way to add some intensity to the blast. 
And to make it look even better, you can go in here and customize the flare. So I'm just gonna clear everything and add the streaks as well as something like this, the soft light iris. I'm gonna change down its brightness because it always is too bright. This is something I know just from using it a lot. So about 50, press okay. And then you can see we get these cool little streaks on everything. So that gives it a unique look. I'll go ahead and scale it up to maybe something like 130. Uh, so you can see there's some tiny little streaks here. Play with the threshold to see if you can get it to a better place. So this is a really extreme look, but I kind of like it. I might do something like this and then change down the scale to something like 50 so it's not overwhelming. And then the brightness to something like five. So it has a really subtle look, maybe not that subtle, maybe a larger scale and keeping it at that brightness. So something like that, uh, I really like. So it's a really easy, but really powerful way to make these blasts look a lot better. So yeah, as you can see, these assets are super easy to work with and super powerful. I hope they help you. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And big thank you to my Patreon supporters. You can go find the additional assets out there right now. And you can download the other ones for free right now in this video's description. So I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching.